All right, folks, welcome to Arduino for Beginners. This is Arduino 101. So in this one, we're just going to take another look at this uh, noise module, this uh, uh, sensor that we used in the last one in conjunction to make our little alarm. Uh, this guy is pretty simple and straightforward. It is just a buzzer. Uh, and what we're going to do is we're going to connect the negative to negative and positive to positive. And we are going to connect the signal as well. And we'll leave the signal in three. We'll keep using that pin. We're really going to butcher this here. Um, pin mode button pin it's three no, we're gonna take the negative again we're gonna take the signal off we'll hook negative into three and what we will do is get rid of all of this and all of this and add some delays a really short delay there and a longer delay here oh, helps if we plug it in huh Setting button pin. And there we go. I had it in the wrong one. I had it in three. So, uh, nice little smoke alarm for you. Let's go ahead and shut that off before it breaks my eardrum. Um, and then let's invert these because I actually wanted that to be a light beep. We'll try it again here. output that's right so let's run that sketch and it should just beep at us one great while yep so once every 10 seconds it'll beep um, so that is good for a lot of different things. If you are just trying to make a chirp, if you're trying to, let's see if we can get this a little bit more steady. So uh, in this instance, because this is a, uh, let's get the other buzzer out actually, and I'll show you what's going on here. There are two different kinds of buzzer. There is a passive buzzer and an active buzzer. One goes off when it gets power, and one goes off when it loses power. And I do have one of the other ones around here somewhere that I can show you. I just need to find it. And in fact, it's back here on this guy. So um, these are basically the same thing. Um, and in this case, we can go ahead and hook the two terminals up here. This one is a lot quieter. Uh, it still has the seal on it. Should make it a little louder. There it is. Um, and then there is a couple other ones as well. So this is basically the same thing. Um, but one of them is wired to a board and one of them is a free component. 
you can get these a lot cheaper um, but you don't really I'm for the range of noise they make it's it's pretty ridiculous the active buzzers can also be made to emit a specific tone so you can adjust the frequency and the noise that it actually makes which can be kind of cool but still can be um, they're they're really annoying tones uh, they're great for certain things and obviously necessary if you're gonna make something like that alarm we made in the last video but if you leave it on too long it can drive your kids and your wife crazy so be careful with that one for sure well that's it guys that's gonna wrap up this video if you've noticed the shirt the merch is available go ahead and check out the teespring merch link down below it won't be available on a channel store until i reach 10,000 subscribers and so far i am just about to hit 5,000 so uh, it'll be a little while a couple more months before you see this on the actual channel but they are available now I have a couple other designs feel free to pop over there and check them out and know that any purchase through the Teespring site definitely helps to promote our site here and increase the channel's ability to make videos in the future so we appreciate all your support don't forget to check out the Teespring link check out our Patreon link leave a like on this video and hit that subscribe button because we have a lot more coming at you in the coming days.